Good morning, Talent Squad. Mr. Talent here, bringing you another VGC Team Builder Live video, focusing on the Pokemon Dragonite, and I'm excited for this team. I think it's pretty well built. I got a few things I want to say about it, but other than that, I think this is a pretty solid team. You guys are going to enjoy it, and this will be our Dragonite team for uh, VGC 2017 meta. So, to start things off, I want to say thank you guys for joining me. Second of all, we got my boy Murkrow. Murkrow is incredible. I freaking love this thing. It's going to be in the team once again. Same old Murkrow. And of course, guys, this whole team spread EVs, all the good stuff in the description down below. Be sure to check it out. Um, Murkrow. Talwin. Talwin is very phenomenal. Talwin is speed control. Talwin makes his team what it is. Uh, this team is definitely, I would say, close to as offensive as offensive can get. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically what, what, uh, Merco does. Gets the wind up, prevents trick room, and, uh, fools around with Quash a little bit and foul plays those high attack Pokemon. That's, that's Merco, man. Merco is great, and he gives the team the speed that this team needs. Next up, we have Alolan Raichu. We have Protect, Fake Out, T-Bolt, Psychic, Timid, Surge Surfer, and Focus Sash. Nothing crazy here. Your max shield sack, max speed. You add speed all night at one point. You add speed Cartana by one point. And then you fake out things. Instead of protect, you can go with Encore. So like, oh, it's a right you. I'm going to be protected before the fake out. Got you good. Next turn, you Encore somebody. They're useless. Or they read that and switch out. But it's definitely high pressure. Without a death, you go fake out Encore. But I like protect. I want to be a little bit safe because I already have two mods on this team without protect. I just saw Mercury doesn't have it. And then you'll see the other one in a bit. So protect, fake out, T-Bolt, Psychic. Fake out's there just to... uh. Give me that initiative I might need. T-Bolt is obviously stab. Psychic is there for stab. And of course, if I'm going to go up against a Laylee and Psychic Terrain is up, that's going to be boosted. So that's always nice to have as well. Uh, focus Sash because I want to... Well, as you can tell, this team has a little bit of a ground weakness between Coco, Arcanine, and Raichu. But it also covers it really well with the Murkrow Dragonite. But we do have Sash there just in case I can't get around the EQ for a reason. Or I want to get, get, get hit by like a Crunch. Or um, some kind of strong move. I don't want to. I don't want Raichu to die right away because I'm not rocking the Encore Fake Out Sip. I want to be a little bit more defensive, play a little more safe, have that Sash keep me alive for another turn. Maybe get an attack off, and especially with the terrain being up, electric terrain being up. I want to outspeed things and do as much damage as possible. So that is that for the Raichu. There, nothing too crazy just yet. Then we have Choice Specs Finny, a monster hits really friggin' hard, really, really, really hard. Uh, D Gleam, Muddy Water, Moonblast, Scald. Those are the four best moves, in my opinion, for the set. Um, why Scalds? Because I, I I just want it. If the terrain's not up, I love burning things. Puts a single target damage. I don't want to always rely on Muddy Water. Moonblast is there because it's uh, obvious reason. Like, basically, Dazzling and Moonblast are the same thing as Muddy Water Scald. Just that Muddy Water has a chance for accuracy drops, while Dazzling is guaranteed accuracy and damage. But um, standard Specs Finny, max HP, max attack, modest nature. Um... And Tailwind, you're just going to Muddy Water to destroy everything if, if uh, there's no Gashadons, Milotix, other Finnies. Even if there are other Finnies, other Mons weak to Water, something like that, I might go for Muddy Water, hit them both. Uh, otherwise, I go for Single Target Moonblast, Single Target Scald, or Dazzling Gleam for those um, people that are weak to Fairy, or I just want to hit both Pokemon. Uh, being modest, like I just said, guys, and Specs makes you hit really freaking hard, and not having Protect makes his team have to be a little bit more defensive, because I have a third of the team that have Protect. Uh, so I want to be a little bit more defensive so I protect than everybody else, including the Raichu, and, um, that's Finny, nothing too crazy right now, nothing, nothing insane about Finny, otherwise, you, what you want to do is get tailed up and just destroy with Muddy Water, Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Gold, whatever you want to go for at the time, depends on the situation. Next up, we have Arcanine, Protect, Willow, E-Speed, Flare Blitz. Now, this is personal preference, guys, this is definitely not like a go-to set. I just like having Willow over Wild Charge. In my experiences, Wild Charge has never done anything really for me um, that I liked a lot. Like I most of the times, I had a I had a Finny with Wild Charge. Like, oh, I should do over half, and it does like a third. Does this on a third? Does just over half? I get intimidated. Does like a, not even a quarter sometimes. Well, I shouldn't say that, but barely like a little less than a third. Like. I don't like I don't like Wild Charge. I really don't. And I like having the surprise factor to see Flare Blitz, to see E Speed, like, oh okay. So he's probably pure offensive man. He's like a wild charge somewhere, maybe close combat. And then out of nowhere I read a switch, I willow something, or 
and it's Sailwind, something is the, the, the target. My, my other Pokemon next to Arcanine has to live, but it's gonna die to physical attack. Arcanine outspeeds both of them in Tailwind, so you know what? I'm gonna Willow the target that's gonna kill my other Mon next to Arcanine, and then it lives, picks up the KO I need to, so on and so forth. I really like having Willow. Now, I was thinking about going Z Willows again, putting Fire EMZ on this bad boy to give me strong Flare Blitz damage, or well, Fire, uh, uh, Z Move Flare Blitz damage. And then Z Willowisp, guys, if you've seen my past videos, you know what it does. If not, Z Willowisp uh, makes your tech go up by one stage. And I've gone for it before in the past. I got the plus one attack, but by then the game's been already basically one of my favorite momentum wise. Or Arcanine just dies, or. I don't know. I, with Z Willowisp is a, is a nice idea. I, I can't say that it hasn't worked for me, but that plus one attack has never been a game changer for me. When I've gotten the when I've gotten the Z Willow was off, I already won the game, or just burning the Pokemon was more important. And then someone with Intimidate came in, put me at the neutral, or which isn't a bad going like, instead of being neg one, you're in neutral, which is great. But I don't know. I want to be more consistent. I want Arcanine to live, and I want Arcanine to um. Yeah, that's what I want. So uh, I originally had a special bulky Arcanine, but I realized I have four special attackers and a Murkrow, and Murkrow isn't the best like attacking mod, so I figured I wanted to balance it out a little bit. And go with an Arcanine here that is a physical attacker to give me another offensive presence that is physical in case I'm like bulky Milotic or Gashadon or um what else? I mean this is you don't really, you don't really do much in Gashadon, but I don't know. I just wanted some kind of mod to get through those uh those uh bulky special special wall Pokemon in the in the meta right now that are there every now and then. Uh and a quick glance to get this team is weak to Gashadon, but you could kill it with like Moonblasts. You could kill it with uh, Willow Wisp. You go over here with a Psychic and the Psychic Terrain if it's, if it's up. Uh, Coco can like, I don't even know. Mer um, uh, Gatchelon is a bit of a problem, but we'll figure out how to take care of that in the in the game situation. But yeah, we got uh, we got Arcanine, Max HP, Max Attack, Adamant Nature, obviously Intimidate, obviously. Citrus so Berry over Agwav, whatever the Adamant Berry is, because um, I'm not that bulky and I have no bulk investment other than HP. So I want that bear to trigger ASAP, and I, I can't afford to wait because I'm gonna most likely die to most attacks that are pretty strong in one hit. Maybe I'll barely live, but either way, I got Arcanine on deck just like that. Then we have Coco. Coco isn't anything crazy. Mr. Coco here has Protect, Hidden Power Ice, that is Gleam, and T-Bolt. Hidden Power Ice on this team over Voltage because the team does struggle a little bit with the Guard Champion having three Grand Weaknesses. Um, well, then what is Surefire Kill is definitely a Moonblast from the Finny. Maybe even Dazzling, I didn't count uh, Choice Specs Dazzlingly Modest, but maybe. Otherwise, Hidden Power Ice has like a 38% chance to Oko Guard Chomp, something like that. And then, um, if I get to like fake it out and then hit it with Hidden Power Ice, it's definitely gonna die. Uh, I believe. If it's AV, it won't. But I just have Hidden Power Ice there. I would like to run Modest Coco, but I like my Shiny Coco that was given to me, so I don't want to run Modest just because I want to use a Shiny. Which is a bad idea in all honesty. If I was in a tournament, I might go regular Coco Modest so I could Oko those Guard Chomps with the uh, Hidden Power Ice. But right now, I think I'm okay on Battle Spot just to go with my Shiny Coco and not run Modest. And lose that 10% boost in power. Um, obviously, Coco gets Terrain up for the Raichu. And then you should outspeed really quickly with those guys. Otherwise, Tailwind is up. And then makes everybody outspeed everything in the meta, to be honest. I don't think anything's below 110. Well, actually, Finny is... Probably like 105-ish. Mm, maybe a little bit less. I don't know if any speed is a little 50. I'll figure it out when I battle. But, um... And then we have the Mon of the Hour. Mr. Dragonite right now. As you can see, my bottom screen right there, I have four Dragonites. Because I have no idea which one I wanted to use. And I want to show all four of you guys. Uh, all, all, all you guys. Uh, all four Dragonites that are good in my opinion. For me, I went for what's optimal on my team. I advise you guys to do the same. Uh, I want to protect Fire Punch, E Speed, Dragon Claw. Dragon doesn't really get any good fly moves. Um, you can go something with Flying EMZ, but eh. I chose Dragon EMZ uh, over anything else, uh, item wise. But I, I really want to go weak this policy, but I'll explain myself in a bit. So basically, we have a protect Fire Punch, E Speed, D Claw. Fire Punch of those Steel Pokemon like Celesteela, Cortana. E Speed because it's freaking E Speed. I love E Speed. Speed uh, Having that um, strong E Speed damage is really good. Plus, look at that attack stat. Going to be level 55, I think I'm level 50, like basically a 20 something, a low 200. But Dragon hits hard, Easy hits really hard. And yes, D Claw Dragonium Z isn't the best, like, 
power wise, I think it's like what, like maybe 140, 160 if I'm lucky. But that base attack stat of like 200, whatever. Let's just say base, but that attack stat at level 50 of like 200. Let's just go with 202 to uh, for argument's sake. That is a lot of damage, man. Uh, Dragon has a very high. I think it's base 137, 135, whatever it may be. He hits really hard. Uh, in the in the in the in the tailwind, like a Dragonium Z things. Uh, why Dragonium Z over weakness policy right now? Well, weakness policy is never guaranteed. Um, obviously, Ice Beam is very common. Rocks are very common, but um, I chose to go Dragonium Z because I wanted more consistent nuking, if you will. Uh, because if I don't get by a weakness, if I weakness if a weakness policy doesn't trigger. Then I'm in trouble because Dragon Claw is mediocre, E Speed is mediocre, and Fire Punch is very mediocre without like any attack boost. And even with even with Dragonium Z, those attacks are mediocre except for Pokemon that are weak to Fire Punch, and then E Speed for they like, pick up those uh, chippy kills. But D Claw Dragonium Z gives me a guaranteed nuke, gives me a lot of damage on somebody, and that might be crucial to kill Gashadons. As I was just saying, the same as with the Gashadons, so Dragonium Z will be good against those Gashadons, do a lot of damage to it, open over half, and then uh. I, I basically like Psychic with Raichu, Raichu, then Dragonium Z, and then hopefully that's enough to kill it. Otherwise, I'm in trouble against Gashadons. Uh, other options, we have this one right here. I didn't know if I wanted EQ, because this team has no EQ, but I don't think I really need it. Uh, this is the one I went with. Then we could also have uh, Ground Diddy MZ, because, or Ground DMZ, because you want uh, that sole target EQ damage on somebody, like a Muck. This team kind of struggles against a Muck a little bit. Gotta be wary of that. That's why I have uh, Willis on the on the Arcanine over Wild Charge, and then you can also have Roost three attack with this policy instead of Protect three attack with this policy. So like, ah, uh, this I, I I don't know. They're all max HP, max attack. So like, I didn't know exactly what spread they go on, on on Dragonite. I didn't know what to calc with it. I just chose that Dragonite that I have right here is the one most optimal for this team. You can argue it's this one with Grandinium Z uh, to hit the Mux, but I think it's to carry Mux with Dragonium Z, plus like Scald, Moonblast, uh, T-Bolts in the Terrains, will o -Wisp. Like, I can kill Muck. I can, I can manage with Muck. I can't kill it easily, but I can definitely manage with will o -Wisp and whatnot. But I, I really want to try this one. Roost 3 attack. Keep it in multi-scale refresh, but there's no guarantees there either, guys. What I advise you to do, use Dragonite you feel best is for your team. You got four options right here. Use the one that you like the best. And with that being said, guys, this is going to be a Dragonite VGC 2017 team for Battle Spots. Guys, we're going to go test that right now. So thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, show some love to the like button down below. Or if you're a fan of Dragonite, show some love, love to the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss on any competitive content, guys, on the channel. As always, I'm Mr. Talent. You're the glorious talent squad. Have a great day.